Hi, I'm Jack Schlafly. And I'm Bennett Forson, and you're watching a special edition of WCAT Sports Report. The Cats are in the state championship. That's right. This Friday at 4.30 at the Georgia Dome, your Westminster Wildcats take on the Blessed Trinity Titans in a rematch for the state championship. Senior Captain Keller Harper knows the offense is clicking on all cylinders, but he knows there is still work to be done. Our offensive line has been playing really well recently. Um, we've had some really good work from our skill players, but it really starts up front with the Hogs up front. You know, um, interior lines have been playing really well against some really big guys from Adairsville and Cedar Grove. So if we continue our physicality this week, we're going to be in great hands. Sounds like Keller really knows what's going on with this offense. And Bennett, let's back up for a second and talk about how we got here. Go back to October, looking at a 3-4 and four season, and going to the Dome was only a prayer. Yet the Cats hit the road, winning must-win game after must-win game. And after making it to the playoffs, the Westminster Wildcats soon became known as the Road Warriors. You know, I think a lot of it is, is us coming in and everyone thinking that we're the underdogs and underestimating us. And we come into their environment and you come out there and put a whooping up on them. Everyone's just, I mean, it's just kind of gratifying for the team and, and for myself to come in there and, you know, smack around a little bit in their home part and show them who's boss. In preparation for the big game this week, alumni from both the 1971 and 78 state teams visited with the team during practice. My name is Jeff Lewis, class of 73. I was a junior on the team that won the state championship. And let me tell you, there's nothing like being number one. Good luck to you guys. It's been 37 years since the state championship, but it's great to have them back. I know being in the huddle, watching those guys come up and talk to us, it was just a great experience. See what it's like, hear their stories, and just know that we're never going to forget this moment, make the most of it. It's going to be a great day to be a Wildcat. Well, this season has been one for the record books, with many big performers stepping up this year. Talk about, on the end, Tyler Gillikin, 76 tackles, 23 for loss, six and a half sacks, and I mean, both sides of the ball. He's just an animal. And you talk about Chase Williams, senior linebacker, captain of this team, 83 tackles, 10 for loss, the team's leading tackler. And our offense has 526 yards rushing, two staggering numbers. Unbelievable. A guy coming up from JV, Truman Jones, making a huge impact, 71 tackles, 13 for loss. And you, you can't not talk about Zay Malcolm, 1400, over 1,400 yards, 14 touchdowns, averaging over 7.3 yards a carry. And he's got a... Pretty good running mate in the backfield. They call him the missile and the whistle. The missile being rank and woolly over 700 yards passing, 600 on the ground, combining for 19 touchdowns. And also a rock in the secondary on defense, 55 tackles, five interceptions. And something that gives Rankin his ability to make these plays on offense is the offensive line as a whole. Go back to the beginning of the season. You look at the Laney game. This offensive line is not looking like what it is today. Mid-season, you finally hit your stride. You find what this offensive line is, and now they're making holes for everyone in the backfield. The three-headed dragon and Chase, Rankin, and Zay, this offensive line is making holes for everyone back there and allowing this offense to really roll. Exactly right. Wildcat Nation is pumped up. The first all-school pep rally in years will bring together the young and old, and a sea of green will fill the dome this Friday. We're going to own the dome. Go Cats! <laughs>